LiDAR is, is a fool's errand. And, any, and anyone relying on LiDAR is doomed. <laughs> doomed. Expensive, expensive sensors that are, are unnecessary. It's like having a whole bunch of expensive appendices. Like one appendix is bad, well, now they want to put a whole bunch of them. That's ridiculous. <laughs> You'll see. Just about every company working on self-driving cars right now is using LiDAR. If you look at Google with their Waymo project, Uber, Toyota, just about every manufacturer is putting some sort of LiDAR detector on top of their cars to achieve self-driving, except for Tesla. And why is that? They're all gonna dump LiDAR, that's my prediction. Mock my words. It would make a lot of sense to put a LiDAR detector on a self-driving car. It essentially creates a 3D mapped version of the world around it, which can be really helpful when you're trying to make something drive itself. The technology works similar to radar, but instead of using radio waves, it uses lasers. So it essentially projects all of these lasers out of the sensor and then measures how they return to the sensor and then can determine the size and shape of the world around it. But Elon made it very clear on Autonomy Day that Tesla would not be using LiDAR. But why is that? Well, there's a couple reasons. First off is just the cost. Google, with their Waymo project, has gotten the cost of LiDAR down to about $7,500 per car. But still, that's a huge cost, and you don't want to tack that on to the already high price of a car. Especially for a company like Tesla that is very focused on costs and making their cars affordable, this is not something they want to try to put on every single one of their cars. But probably Tesla's main selling point for not using LiDAR is that the world around us, and specifically the road, is designed for people that can see. It's full of visual stimuli that are created to help us navigate the world and navigate the road. You all came here, you drove here, many of you, and you used your, your uh, neural net and vision. You were not shooting lasers out of your eyes, and you still ended up here. <laughs> we might have. <laughs> so I mean, things went well. That's good for everyone. <laughs> every road, every sign, every intersection is just full of visual information to help us navigate the world around us. And that's just stationary things like a traffic light or a stop sign, but it gets really tricky when there's obstacles involved. So if you're using LiDAR, you'll be able to see the obstacle and you'll be able to see it very well, especially small things. It's got very good uh, resolution and can see exactly what size and shape the object is, but it falls short when it tries to determine what type of object it is. And Tesla made that very clear that with their system of cameras and radar, they're able to determine what the actual object is. An example they gave was a plastic bag rolling across the highway. So we've probably seen that before and we don't slow down, we don't really worry about it because everybody's going really fast and you don't want to slam on your brakes just for a plastic bag. It, if it hits your car, it's no big deal. Now with LiDAR, it'll see this obstacle, it'll think it's something in the middle of the road, you don't want to run into it, it'll slam on the brakes, might cause an accident behind you and that's not something you want. But with Tesla's software, they're able to see that obstacle, see that plastic bag, see that there's some sort of obstacle there with the radar. And then with the cameras, they're able to actually tell what type of object that is, which is really important. With the LiDAR, we just see the object. But with this camera and radar setup, we can actually see what type of object it is and determine whether or not it's something you can run over, it's something soft, something that won't hurt the car or it's something hard that you, if you run into, it could maybe hurt passengers inside. And that's really the most important thing here, it, being able to see the world as humans see it. It's expensive and unnecessary, and as Andre was saying, once you solve vision, it, it's it worthless. So you have expensive hardware that's worthless on the car. Another thing they made very clear on Autonomy Day was that this system is built to adapt. They talked a lot about their neural network, and how this Tesla software is able to take all of the data that it's amassed from everyone driving on the road and determine how to react to new situations. So if the road conditions change, it's able to adapt to those changes, which is very important for a self-driving system. So if you've ever seen a self-driving demo before, it's usually in an area where it's been completely GPS maps, everything is ideal conditions, the car has done it before with a regular driver, 
it's been able to handle it perfectly, maybe has stuff attached to the traffic lights so it knows how to react to those. But in a real world scenario, when we're deploying this on a massive scale, we're not gonna be able to do that with every single environment. The system will have to be able to adapt to the environment it's in, which is what Tesla is trying to tackle here. And I decided not to do a whole video on that because that is way above what I understand. If you wanna watch Tesla's full presentation, it's very interesting, especially for the computer science people out there. It talks a lot about how they design their chip to make it specifically for self-driving. No other company has done something like that. So definitely check out their full presentation. I just wanted to touch on the LiDAR piece because that's something that I understand. And there's a lot of confusion about why Tesla isn't using LiDAR. So hopefully I was able to clear up some of that. And I don't want to make it sound like Tesla hates LiDAR, think the technology is not good. There's definitely plenty of applications and industries where it's used. Elon even said that SpaceX uses it. Um, I should point out that I don't actually super hate LiDAR as much as it may sound, um, but at SpaceX, uh, SpaceX Dragon uses LiDAR to navigate to the space station and dock. Not only that, we, the, SpaceX developed its own LiDAR from scratch to do that, and I spearheaded that effort personally. Because in that scenario, LiDAR makes sense. And in cars, it's freaking stupid. There's plenty of industry uses for LiDAR, but Tesla feels that autonomous driving is just not one of them. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, kind of explained why Tesla made the decision to not use LiDAR. I know it was something that I've been confused about. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and leave a comment below of what you think of this decision. Do you think it's a good idea to not use LiDAR or is that something Tesla should maybe be using as a redundancy method to maybe back up their camera and radar system? So I want to hear what you think. Leave a comment below. And as always, subscribe so you don't miss next week's video. See you guys next week. And, any, and anyone relying on LiDAR is doomed. <laughs> doomed. They're all going to dump LiDAR. That's my prediction. Mark my words. <laughs>